Hello, my name is Darren. I'm the product manager for Encryptomatic's Message Lock email encryption program. And today I want to show you just how easy it is to send an encrypted message using Message Lock. First thing you do after Message Lock is installed uh, to begin the process of sending an encrypted message is to open a new email message in Outlook. Type in a subject. Type in some sort of a message. And to begin the process, all we'd have to do is press the Send button after selecting one of these options. Let me walk you through what these options are. If we press Compress Files, Message Lock will take any attachments to this email and put them into a zip file. So it's a good way to save bandwidth or to combine multiple files into a single zip file. It will not be encrypted. If we want to encrypt, all we do is select Encrypt Attachments, and Message Lock will apply a password to the, file, to the zip file. Now, if we want to encrypt the entire email message and all attachments to this message, all we do is press Encrypt Message. Click the Send button, and that's it. Now, because this is the first time we have sent to this email address, Message Lock uh, needs to know a password, so it asks us to uh, enter one, and it offers to generate a password. It'll generate strong passwords for you. Or, if you've already agreed upon a password, just type it in here. You can also select the encryption method. ZIP2 compatible is the weakest but most widely compatible with other ZIP and unzip utilities. AES-128 is increasingly uh, found in ZIP utilities, including some of the most popular ZIP utilities like uh, WinZIP 90 and later PKZIP and the free tug ZIP and many, many others. Message lock AES is something that we've included that um, uh, is, is good to use if you're sending to somebody that you know is also using message lock. But for now, let's just use AES-128. After we press accept, Message Lock will remember the password and the encryption method and it will associate it with this email address so that we won't have to be prompted the next time we want to send an encrypted message to this email address. So we send our message and let's go take a look in the uh, sent items folder. Now what the receiver will see is a message is that the message has been replaced with this, dummy, with this dummy message. There's some instructions here that tells the receiver that this is an encrypted message. So assuming that the per if the person on the receiving end has message lock, they won't even see this. The message will just appear and there'll be a little line along the bottom that says that this was decrypted by message lock at such and such a time on such and such a date. But if you're sending to somebody that only has a zip utility like WinZip 9 or 10, uh, then they will see this is what the message will look like and they'll know that there is uh, an important message for them in this zip file. To open it, they would just double click on the attachment. And I am using the, on this computer, I have installed the free TugZip. It's T-U-G-Z-I-P dot com. And TugZip uh, will open up the message and it will open up the zip file and tell us what, what, uh, what the contents are. And here is a message file. So I double click on that because that's the message and TugZip realizes that this is an encrypted file so it prompts us for a password. We just type in the password, hit OK, and then the message will be opened. And because the message is a uh, outlook.msg file, the message loads right into Outlook with, uh, with no problem. So there's our message. <clears throat> well, let me show you what happens in the uh, message lock preferences after we have entered the information you'll notice that message lock has stored it and here it is it's uh, this is the email address this is the password that we used the uh, the outbound password to encrypt when sending to this email address and the encryption algorithm that we chose you notice that you can also have a separate inbound password so if the person at this email address wants to email us using a different password, they, they may, we, we can enter that in here. So we know that uh, message lock knows that file, encrypted files coming from this email address, uh, we should use this password to uh, decrypt those messages. But when sending to this email address, we can use this outbound password. And we can change these things simply by, by clicking into the fields. Save and close, and that'll, that'll save our changes. And that's the, uh, the process of sending an email message to somebody encrypted using MessageLock for the first time. Thank you very much.